Hello everyone, this is Alessandra. Welcome to my home, welcome to my kitchen. We're still in quarantine, it's a beautiful afternoon here. And uh, I just remembered that a couple days ago when I went out for my extremely large food shopping because we go once and you better get everything. I saw some beautiful red peppers, uh, quite fresh and on sale. Now I wanna talk about, and we will be making roasted peppers, okay. Now, having said that, when I, little, little trick, uh, when I buy my peppers, I always pick up the pepper and kind of squeeze it as if pushing the air out, out of the pepper into my nose, because a lot of times the pepper could look beautiful, but inside it has a pungent, acidic smell that means the pepper is already spoiling. And I hate when I'm eating the peppers and you get that one bad one and it ruins everything. This is an extremely easy recipe. Uh, you'll see, but also, I've removed the stickers. Please, why do they put these stickers on? L look at this, this is awful. Four came out, this fifth one, I could get it out. So if that happens to you, just cut it out with a knife. I, it makes me mad, but there's no choice, okay. Now, let's get started. This is what you're gonna really need. If you want just plain roasted peppers, you need a baking sheet, your peppers, and that's it. But, once I roast them, I like a little bit of garlic, uh, a little bit of parsley, some olives, and sometimes I'll even show you how I make pepperoni a gratte. That's a typical Neapolitan recipe that when I get to Italy, that's like one of the first things I want to eat because it's just delicious and so simple to make. Let's get started. Here I just uh, lined a cookie sheet. I'm going to uh, place my peppers, put a little space in between, put on your oven on broil 500, and um, let's get started. The oven has reached temperature 500 on broil. Now let's take a look where I'm going to place the uh, peppers. Everybody's oven might be different, so I just want to show you. Um, I have it maybe about three inches from the top flame. Now, I'm gonna put the peppers in and take a look at the time so I can tell you exactly. This is a thing that you're not going to put the peppers in the oven and walk away. You're gonna burn everything. So, like I do what I did, I made myself a nice cup of espresso, and I'm gonna be sitting down and uh, just maybe do some bills, look at my phone, just enjoy it. And before you know it, the kitchen is going to be smelling of delicious peppers. 12 minutes have passed, let's take a look. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna take them out so I can show you. Now, you're gonna be turning them three times. So this is the first time, let's do the second time. I My fingers don't burn, so, so I'm gonna do like this. Turn it. If you feel uncomfortable touching them with your hand, you could use a tongue. Okay, there it goes. Back in they go. Okay. I'm going to continue. Uh, forget the bills. I'm on my phone. I'm just texting away. Eight minutes have passed. Okay. Perfect. Let's turn them again. See? See the side that's not done? And just get them turned. Don't worry about the burnt part. That's all flavor that it gives to the peppers. I'm actually gonna put the side in first now. Okay. And this is the final time you're going to uh, do that. And now I'm gonna get a pot ready and I'm gonna show you a little trick that's gonna make it extremely easy to peel these peppers. See you in a little bit. Just six minutes have passed, and like I said, you should not walk away because look, take a look. They are ready, okay? Now, this is the trick. Take a pot, empty pot, let me close the oven door, put the peppers in, 
like this. Just put them in. Okay. Put the lid on the pot and just put it somewhere to cool down. Come back in a couple hours and I'm gonna see, I'm gonna show you what happens. The peppers have finally cooled and um, here's the magic. Take a look at this. First of all, I want you to take a look at the beautiful pepper juice that has come out. And um, I'm going to show you how easy the skin comes right off of them, which will be, which will make for easy uh, a cleaning of the peppers. Okay. And who doesn't like a good slice couple slices of uh, roasted peppers on top of their mozzarella sandwich or to just eat on as a side dish. What I love doing with these uh, peppers is actually cooking them with chicken. You take a chicken breast, put a little mozzarella in it, a couple slices of these in, and oh boy, a little bit of breadcrumbs, put them in the oven. Oh wow, I think I'm getting ahead of myself with the next recipe. Okay, the peppers are all cleaned. I pretty much just uh, uh, pulled them apart in strips. They look fabulous. Now, this delicious juice we're not going to waste. What I will do, use a colander. So like that, we don't get any seeds in. Okay, perfect. The juice from the peppers is so thick and delicious. It looks like oil in itself. What I'm going to do now, peppers like this you could keep in the fridge for a good seven days, covered up nicely. What I'm going to do is put salt in them, good sea salt, uh, stir them, and I'm going to show you how to make uh, peperoni a gratte. This is a very typical Neapolitan uh, dish, which is basically peppers with some garlic and parsley and some uh, olives. You could put capers too. I'm not gonna put the capers in and breadcrumbs. And I'm just gonna put it in the oven for five, six minutes because all the ingredients are cooked already. So here I go, I'm gonna put the peppers in. Just watch, it's that quick to do and so delicious. This is another great entertaining um, meal because you could do this ahead of time and just serve it right when your guests arrive, put it in the oven to uh, gratte, which means pretty much to grill. So I'm going to add the extra virgin olive oil, okay? Um, I'm sorry, I need a knife. Okay, as you all know my system, I roll up the parsley and just chop up. When you need some, you need little, I hate to dirty dirty up a um, cutting board because I end up washing the cutting board. So the least mess I can make, the more I prefer it. I don't like to rush the food in the sense of not enjoying it. I enjoy cooking, but if I could take a little shortcuts to make it easier, I'm all for it. I'm gonna put in some kalamata. If you could get a hold of some good gaeta olives, that's excellent too. Okay, look at this. Isn't this just gorgeous? Now here comes the breadcrumbs. Okay, gonna drizzle a little bit more um, oil on top so that the breadcrumbs could really get toasty. And uh, it's going in the oven. See you in five minutes. It's smelling amazing, so I'm gonna open the oven. Let's take a look. Oh, ooh. Okay, I wanna burn myself. Oh wow, it looks perfect. Let's move it over to the table. And now we're going to test it, okay. All right, so it's been a long day. I'm hitting the Amarone, okay? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, look forward to tasting these. This so reminds me of the summers in Italy. Um, 
This is summer. This is Italy. This is taste. This is deliciousness. Let's see how it goes. Oh, wow. Grab a little olive on it, too. Hmm. Delicious. Wonderful. The sweetness of the pepper, the taste of the olives, the olive oil, the parsley, the garlic, a perfect combination. Cheers. Thank you so very much for watching me. <laughs> Cheers everyone. Salute. Be safe. Stay healthy. If you like the recipes, please subscribe. Please do make this. It is absolutely delicious. And again, take a look at these wonderful peppers that you could be using throughout the week for other recipes. Um, what else can I say? Have a good night and see you soon.